Welcome to EasyLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics. Our topic for today is quadratic expressions and equations. Our subtopic is quadratic identity of a plus b and a minus b. So in the previous lessons, we looked at a plus b squared and a minus b squared and we came up with an expression that helps us to expand those uh, expressions when you're given instead of going the long way. So what is going to be our expression for this um, identity such that you can be able to work this out without actually opening the brackets? So when you look at typically how we were figured this out in the previous uh, lessons, it becomes we, we use this expression to open this expression. So it becomes a, a minus b, and then plus b, a minus b, it's minus. So a times a becomes a squared, a times b becomes minus a b then minus then plus b times a becomes plus a b and then minus b at both of them plus b minus b becomes minus b that's what we did in the previous uh, lessons you can go and check that out this becomes a squared this is minus a b plus a b so it cancels out completely so you are left with minus b squared so we shall say actually this is the easiest of all the identities because you only work with an a and a b and you subtract the two and you get your answers. So let's use them in a, in a question. So we have this uh, question. So remember we said our expression is a squared minus b squared. So you can take this as your a and your b can be this. So you can use it as a whole negative. It still doesn't really change. So it's going to be a as 1 squared minus b squared, which is negative 1 over a squared. So this becomes 1 minus negative negative becomes 1 over a squared. So you can do, you can remove the fraction by dividing it with the LCM. And LCM in this case is going to be a squared. So you multiply by a squared, you multiply by a squared. So it becomes a squared minus one. Because this is one times a squared, a squared. This one and this one cancels, you're left with one. Let's do the next question as you can see. So this is your a, this is your b, you can take it as a whole as it is. So a squared minus b squared, so our a squared is minus 2x, you square it, minus b, you can take as minus 3y, then you square it. So this is going to be 4x squared, because the minus completely like changes to positive, because it's minus 2x times minus 2x, then minus, this is minus 3y, minus 3y becomes 9 positive y squared because there's a minus in between. Right. You see how, how direct it is. It's not like the other ones. So let's, what about in the case we have a fraction? It still applies. This is your a, this is your b. So it's a squared minus b squared. So this is your a and this is your b. So So that is going to be 1 over x squared minus 1 over y squared. This is going to give us 1 over x squared minus 1 over y squared. Okay, we can get rid of the, the fractions. So the LCM is going to be x squared, y squared. You multiply by x squared, y squared, so this gives you y squared minus x squared. And then this is also going to be your a and your b, so it becomes a squared minus b squared. So it is x squared minus 2a squared, so it becomes x squared minus 4a squared. Let's do a few examples, a few more examples, just a few, and then we are done. So 
And remember, it's, it's a squared minus b squared. So this is your a, this is your b. So you will notice, as initially I said, this is our a, b. But you notice our values are not the same. In the case where we have the identity a plus b and a minus b, you see our values of a are the same and our values of b are the same. The only difference is the plus and minus. But if you look closely, you notice that this ax and 2ax are different. b and 3b are different. So I would advise in this situation, you work out the question uh, in the normal expansion as we did it before. So ax plus b 2ax minus 3b. So this is going to be ax in bracket 2ax minus 3b and then plus b uh, 2ax minus 3b. So this is going to be 2a squared x squared minus 3axb plus 2axb minus 3b squared. You can open the bracket slowly. Remember this is x times 2ax gives us 2a, so a squared x squared. And then axb, so it's minus 3axb. And then b times 2ax becomes 2axb. And then b times b is b squared minus 3b squared. So when you put the light terms together, it becomes 2ax squared minus 3, 3axb plus 2axb gives us minus axb. It's like minus 3 plus 2. So this gives us 1, minus 1. Then minus 3b squared. So you see, this is doesn't give us the answer that we would get if we had a and b values that are equal. So to always be careful. Of course, we can use the identity, but only in the situations where they are the same. The same applies to this next question. I would advise you just to use the op op open completely. So 5x plus 6. So this becomes 6x into bracket 5x plus 6, then minus 5 into bracket 5x plus 6. So when you open this, it becomes 30x, then 6 times 6x becomes 6 36 x then minus 5 times 5 becomes minus 25 x minus 5 plus 6 becomes minus 30. So remember this is square so it becomes 30 x squared plus 36 minus 25. This becomes 11 so plus 11 x minus that. So you see how you're getting uh, totally different values when they are mixed up. So just be careful so that we do not make that mistake. So finally, the last uh, question. So this also is not the same. So we'll just open it the way we were opening. So it's going to be 3x into bracket, 2x plus 3, uh, minus 2, 2x plus 3. So this becomes uh, 6x squared, then plus uh, 9x minus 2 minus times 2x becomes minus 4x, then this minus 6. So it becomes 6x squared plus 9 minus 4, it means it's plus 5x minus 6. And that's your final answer. So that brings us to the end. Uh, you can check out more revision questions and app uh, notes on the same on the app.
So make sure you're always checking your expression. Is it A plus B, A minus B, and A and B are the same? If A and B are not the same, then it means your expression. You just need to open it in the normal way. Uh, so see you in the next video.